So hello, 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 people of God. So I want to talk to you a little bit um, just about navigating and nurturing the new, right? You know, the videos that I have been releasing the last, I, I believe at this point is probably at least a good month, have been about the new that is our lives. The new that is our lives. And so I just want to help to absolutely help you to, to navigate and nurture this thing, right? And this is why you need it. This is why you need nurturing and navigation, right? Um, because let me tell you, right? <laughs> I can't specify, I can't, I cannot reiterate, I cannot tell you enough how much God is continuing all day, every day to stay in my ear about this new thing being unfamiliar, this new thing being I don't want to use the word scary, but unfamiliar, unfamiliar. And because it's unfamiliar, you know, we, we, we won't know how to navigate through it. We'll feel like we missed it. We'll feel like we're not doing it right. We'll feel like we don't really have it right. And so what God was saying to me, what God was saying to me, he was like, there are going to be those that are going to completely not be able to receive this new thing a lot of what god has been sharing with me about the new thing has been around the goodness of god all of it has been about the goodness of god and so what god was saying to me is that there are going to be those of us that are going to truly miss we're going to miss this new thing we're going to miss the goodness of god because we keep trying to qualify for it we keep trying to qualify for it and and earn it right and we keep trying to we, we try to qualify for it and we try to quantify it right we try to get it in measures right I, i'm telling you because i released the the word it, it can't it just can't be that perfect it just can't be that good right because for us the goodness of God through the doctrine of the church has always come with some restriction, some regulations, some rules, right? You can't just you can't just have the goodness of God. And let me tell you, people of God, that is why it hasn't manifested in our lives. That is why, people of God, it has not manifested in our lives because we have tried to qualify and quantify it. We've tried to have it in measures, right? We have not been able to have life more abundantly. We've not been able to have exceedingly and abundantly above all we've not been able to have eyes have not seen or ears heard nor mind can can imagine that thing we've not been able to have that we've not been able to be more than conquerors because we keep trying to qualify and quantify it we cannot receive through faith the abundance of the overflowing goodness of God we've not been able to we've not been able to and I'm telling you it's, it's not anything the word Paul is clear when he says your mind can't conceive it, right? Like, like you really can't. And so as I myself have been sitting in the revelation of it, I have been feeling it in my body. I have been feeling it uh, very tangibly, right? Like I have been feeling it very tangibly and I've been asking the Holy Ghost to help me um, 24 seven. Like a lot of times I'm just like, help me Lord, right? Because God is actually... And let me tell you, right, for me personally, there's been a lot of plowing. There's been a lot of processing, right? As God has been tilling my heart, preparing me for all this word that he then deposits that my heart immediately is able to grab onto. Words that at one point just sat on top. Like they, they just sat on top of my heart, right? Like, like imagine again the parable of the sower, right? The seed just sat there on on the ground on the soil not even able to produce anything like not even able to produce anything and so and that plowing hurt that plundering hurt right that was a painful process and so as God has been talking to me again about the new that is our lives and receiving it and and, and having it by faith there's been um it's just been it's just been me and the Lord it's just been me and the Lord and so I just want to like, just, you know, again, I feel like the last three words that I've released have just kind of been right now words. That's, that's why I feel like God has me releasing to you, right? Like a right now word, you know, this thing is new. This thing is unfamiliar. We need to keep our navigation on all day, every day, which is the ministry of the Holy Ghost. We need to be reading our Bibles. Um, we, we, we need to be 100% yielded to God and I'm telling you right like we we 
Help me, Holy Ghost. Help me, Holy Ghost. Because see, listen, as God was ministering to me, right? As God was ministering to me, it was, um, it's a lot. Even now, the right words to say, you know, they, they, they elude me. I pray so much for you guys to really receive it. I pray for you to receive it. I pray that that word just doesn't sit on your heart and not even penetrate to bring forth a harvest. I, I pray so much for for your hearts to be yielded and pliable and surrendered and submitted to the goodness of God. Because let me tell you something, the world, the world wants us to oppose it. The church wants us to qualify and quantify it. And so we've not been able to live in that overflow. Overflow has been, has been a mythical idea to us overflow like like we're, we're we're barely getting by we're what are you talking about overflow right and i just wanted to come on here i just wanted to come on here and share with you because when god told me that right he said there will be folks that will not be able to receive the goodness of god as much as they want it as much as they want it as much as they desire it as much as they need it they won't be able to because we keep trying to qualify for it and we keep trying to quantify we're saying lord i receive it lord i have it our hands are in the air we have a a a posture a position of surrender but our hearts are like no like 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 no no it, it can't be that good it can't be that perfect we, all we've known is bondage all we've known is is striving. All we've known is strain. All we've known is struggling. It can't be that good. It can't be that good. It cannot be that good. We are living in a world right now that is is chanting, is chanting the 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 final. Oh, help me, Jesus, because I the, the Lord has not released me to go there. This is what I want to say. There is so much compromise, right? And compromise is such a sneaky thing, right? Because it, it, it gets your agreement. Compromise is not the same thing as opposition, right? Compromise is that thing that says, come on, come on now. You can have, you can have it, but it has to come this way. It has to come this way, right? It it can't just be this thing where you just you just say it and you have it. No, it, it has to be more than that. It it has to be more than that. I, I I've said this before in previous videos, right? But that was the problem the religious spirits had with Jesus. I, I released the word and I, I deleted the comment, but I released the word where somebody just literally said under my video, nonsense. Nonsense. And it, it, it always makes me sad for that person that there, there was no words of anger. There was no, you know, I, it was just that because it was just like, there's no way. There's no way you, you can say that this is going to happen. There's no way, right? And we, let me tell you something, without outwardly saying that, without consciously saying that, we live, we live that. We live in that space of compromise. We live in that space where our heart and our, we've gone through so much, right? That, that we just cannot receive and believe the goodness of God. Like, no, no, like we want it and we feel like our desire is enough. But I'm telling you, the position and the posture of your heart is one of, of unbelief. You cannot believe God. You know God. And I'm telling you, right, as you walk, I'm, oh my God, hear me, right? Because I'm really trying to give voice to what the Holy Ghost is saying to me. I'm telling you, when you start to really walk that thing out and you really start to feel those, those mindsets, those strongholds, that opposition, that compromise break off of you, keep going. Keep, you're not doing anything wrong. Keep going. Keep going in the name of Jesus. Keep going. Be like the man who, whose son is struggling with the, with the, with the with the spirit that is throwing him in the fire where in one voice he says I believe help me with my unbelief like like let your posture be like lord i really I really want your goodness. I really believe that I receive your goodness. But if there is anything in me that is not in agreement with the fullness and the perfection that is your will for me, talk to me, Holy Ghost. Talk to me, Holy Ghost. Jeremiah 29 and 11, God says, first and foremost, I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope in a future. And then the word goes on to say, 
that you call on me and I will answer you. Seek me and you will find me when you do so with your whole heart. We keep waiting for, for, for the Holy Ghost to bust the door open and pour out all this stuff to us. No, you press in. You press in. I told you heaven is responding. You press in. You press in. Oh, God is not talking to me. Are you talking to God? I don't hear from God. Maybe God wants to hear from you. When I feel like God is not, not and I actually said this in an email because somebody emailed me. When I feel like God is not responding and I need from God, I start reading out loud the word of God and I read encouraging scriptures. I read, I read scriptures where, where I, I don't go to, again, like I read the good stuff. That's what I do. People say, don't pick and choose. When I need to hear from heaven, I pick and choose. And listen, I start speaking it out of my mouth. And I'm telling you, every single time the Holy Ghost responds to that word. Every single time. So, I don't really know that this word has any type of um like theme or I just I just wanted to come on here I just want to encourage you I just want to tell you that God is good and oh gosh you guys just 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 know just know that it's happening for us know that it's happening for us know that God is good know that there is no striving there's no strength like it's actually happening for us I'm telling you, right? You've heard a million and one times, and I know you have. I know you have because I have. You've heard a million and one times, this is your season, this is your hour, breakthrough, and you've not seen it. I know that you have, but I'm telling you, you need to ask God, listen, I, I really need for this to be the time. I and, and whatever I need to do, Lord, whatever needs to happen, we need to make it happen. Like whatever needs to shake, needs to shake. Because I need, I need you to show up for me. And I don't, I don't need you to show up for me in a way that I'm just getting out. No, I, I need you to show up for me in a way that the perfect, the perfect will of God is what is manifested in my life. I've gotten out before. You understand what I'm saying? I've had those words where I, I get out, right? You, you did just enough for me that I, I don't need that. Okay, so I said I was going to be done and now I'm still talking. Because again, right? When God comes to Moses with, with the plan for the children of Israel, right? Listen, there were no rules and restrictions on the promised land, right? Th there was none when God gave Moses. He said, listen, I'm going to take them out of here and I'm going to send them to a land flowing with milk and honey, a good land. That's it. That's it. Well, how long are they going to be there? So, no, 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 no. Like, like it's just a good land. It's just, and God tells Moses, right? Guess what? The, the Canaanites are there and, oh, but you don't have to worry about that. You, you don't have to worry about nothing. I got the whole thing under control. There's no way we've been, our whole lineage has been oppressed for 400 years and you about to drop this, this amazing, it ain't, no way. No, it ain't no way possible. Nope. Ain't gonna happen. Can't happen. Won't happen. What? We don't have to worry about nothing. There is now no condemnation for me who is in Christ Jesus. I am more than a conqueror. What? By your stripes, I am healed? But I'm telling you, that that's what we've lived with. We've lived with that... Listen, I run right past my feelings, right past, I'm talking about physical feelings, mental feelings, emotional feelings. I run right past it. I, I listen, I'm, I can't because I've listened too much to, but, but uh, that little thing. No, no, I pay it no mind. I pay it no mind, but you don't feel it all the way yet. But it's just, uh, I know, no, that Foul lie of strain and struggle and compromise and almost but not quite. I'm telling you, it's a lie from the pits of hell and I reject it. I reject and right now I receive the fullness of the perfect will of God for my life. I receive it and I have it. I own it. I own right now the perfect will of God in my life right now. Right now in the name of Jesus. <sighs> 